This is Robert Kraft, and I'm your host on SNN Network. And joining me right now is Ian Harris. He is the president and CEO of Libero Copper. It's a publicly traded company. I got two symbols for you. LBC on the TSX Venture and LBCMF on the OTCQB. And Libero will be participating at the upcoming Precious Metal Summit Beaver Creek hybrid event this year, happening September 8th through the 11th. With that, Ian, thank you so much for joining me today. How are you doing? Uh, I'm doing great. So um, I'm actually sitting in Medellin, Colombia right now, uh, just after a site visit to, to Makoa. So happy to be here. Sorry if there's a little bit of background noise, but it's a part of the charisma and, and the, the charm of, of Medellin. So you got to love the beauty of movie magic, right? You know, here I got this background of Beaver Creek. I'm not in Beaver Creek. You're in Medellin. We'd have no idea unless you told us. Uh, so <laughs> uh, I love it. So I, actually, the last time we did an interview with a uh, representative from Libero, actually Ian Slater, who's the founder and chairman, we, we did that interview two years ago at Precious Metals Beaver Creek. So we'd love to get an update. You know, what would you say are some of the company's highlights in the last 12 months or so? Yeah, it's a, a teeny bit about my background because I think it's a big part. I mean, me and Ian have been talking a long time. We've crossed paths in Colombia and Ecuador in our, in our histories. Uh, and it's always been talking about uh, Makoa and, and I might have experience and background in, in copper. I'm, I'm a mining engineer, uh, 25 years plus now, I'm getting older, uh, in the industry and 15 of those years in South America. And part of those were six years in uh, Ecuador where I was senior vice president and country manager for Corriente Resources. And it, it's an important point because it was a very large project. Uh, had a lot of issues to deal with, but got it restarted uh, and through to the start of construction. Um, even post sale, I was on board with uh, the two Chinese SOEs one year afterwards. But it was it went on to become the first large scale mining uh, large scale mining operation in the history of Ecuador. Um, so that's a little bit of the story. I joined the company in January of this year, and I think we've been and a lot of kudos to Ian Slater. Uh, at the end of 2019 at Big Red, there was a porphyry copper discovery at the Terry, uh, Terry Target, now Terry Discovery, uh, and that led to a big transformation of the company. We already had uh, the, the project Makoa in, you know, sitting in, in incubation, uh, but quickly added Esperanza in Argentina and an additional copper uh, target in uh, BC called Big Bulk. So really, and then brought on a tremendous team. Um, including people like uh, Ernie Mast, who also has a similar story in Panama with uh, Cobra Panama, bringing the first large scale mining operation into the history of, uh, in that country. So that's, that's a lot of the story. So we've been doing a lot of work organizing new assets and organizing new strategies to execute. So we're in a very exciting time right now because all that strategy is hitting the ground. Uh, at Big Red, we're drilling. Uh, we have a 5,000 meter drilling program. We're about 1,800 meters into it. Got a couple cores already to the lab. Pretty excited with uh, the way things are looking. Uh, and at Big Red, the focus is uh, following in the footsteps of some of the great projects that are already there, but razor focused into making sure that we're getting these projects pushed down a pipeline. So Big Red, it's all about uh, testing the size and the scale of that deposit to make sure that it has that future mine potential merit. Uh, and we're liking what we're seeing so far. The other big story is uh, here in Colombia, why I'm here, um, and that we've done, you know, we really spent six months driving in some internal values into, into our company, making sure that every, every employee was, was committed to those values, and then really hit the ground hard in July. It, was, it wasn't until July 1st that we really started working uh, with the local community. And within three months, it's been, it's night and day. I feel like the dam has burst. Uh, and at McCall, we're going to be starting geophysics um, and installing, uh, looking at installing a camp, uh, negotiating, currently negotiating those right away to start geochemistry on the ground. So that project that's been sitting in the, in the fold since 2018 is, is coming to life. So it's that we're, we're really executing on the overall strategy of the company and really now at the point where value is going to be created, drilling at Big Red and now beginning activities at McCall. Uh, you know, you, you started to allude to my next question already there, you know, um, but maybe we get the full wrap here. But from what from what you can tell us, what would you say are some of the company's value catalysts now for the rest of 2021 going into 2022? 
So some big steps. Again, I don't want to, you know, wipe over. I think it's been a tremendous job that's happened. Really, we think that about a differentiator of the company is that, you know, the, our past experience is just having a true value system, being really strong to those, those values, what type of company you are, and making sure every employee carries those uh, makes a massive difference on the ground. Uh, but the big catalysts are going to be, you know, we're drilling at Big Red, you know, we're, we're weeks to a month away of getting our first drill results from the drilling that's happening there. Um, that's going to be a big catalyst. Next month, we're, uh, sorry, this month, we're actually starting uh, geophysics programs at Makoa. And that's also, it's, I mean, that's a six, 600 million plus uh, deposit, over 6 billion pounds of copper uh, equivalent uh, already established in our preferred resource, but it's just been, you know, in the fold. And now, you know, I think everybody's saying this project is definitely moving forward. Um, so those are two big catalysts that are going to be coming in the very new near term. Very good. Well, Ian, where can our audience then go and find more information on Libero? Well, we uh, we definitely have a website at www.liberocopper.com. Um, and, you know, yeah, there were, there's our presentation, my personal contact information at the end of every presentation. Um, and so we're, you know, one of our key values is the openness and transparency. And that goes with our local communities and also with our shareholders. And I think that uh, that's delivering. Very good. Well, Ian, thank you so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. Good luck. Stay safe. And I look forward to our next update. Yeah, thanks, Robert. Look forward to getting to Beaver Creek next week. Very good. Again, my name is Robert Kraft, and I'm your host on SNN Network. And we're a proud media sponsor for Precious Metals Summit Beaver Creek happening, a hybrid event happening September 8th through the 11th. The Barrow Copper will be there participating. And thank you all for watching.